Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you the top nine items that sold in the category of breakables. Before I start this video, I'm going to read a comment that I got this past week that was awesome. Check it out. At Thrifting Granny 13 says, until I can grow my business to a full-time thing, I work for Goodwill. I hear crap all day about how resellers are taking from the needy. Love your videos and my grandson loves Bruce. He is six and has autism. Loves going thrifting with me. Peace. This video is dedicated to you, Sebastian, or Sebastian. They call him Bash. ¿Qué onda, Bash? ¿Cómo estás? Quería saludarte antes de irnos porque yo y Charlie vamos para el rodeo. Hey, what's up, Bash? I just wanted to say hello on behalf of me, Bruce, and Charlie. Just a reminder, tell the adult that is taking care of you to take you outside where there's grass because all kids should be outside. Every single week I shoot a video on one category and one category alone. That way you can focus and become a pro in that category. In this case, it's going to be breakables or glass, porcelain, things that can break. I also answer questions and put up comments on screen so that you can see them. So if you ever have a question or have an opinion, leave it down in the comments below and maybe it will make it to the video. And before we start the video, I'm going to show you this for those of you that are wondering. This is a Galileo thermometer. This thermometer works on the principle of buoyancy to indicate temperature changes. The way that it works is that these balls inside, they have different colors and they have a little tag at the bottom. The tags have numbers on them like 86, 84, 80. Those are the temperatures. The inside of the balls are colored so that you can see between them easily and they have different densities. The liquid inside is clear. Mostly it could be water. Sometimes it can be a mixture of alcohol and water and sometimes it can be just alcohol, usually ethanol alcohol. So the way that this works is that the ambient temperature touches the glass, then that transfers into the water. So the temperature is transferring into the water and it's going to change the temperature inside. When it gets hotter, things rise. When it gets colder, things go to the bottom. And in this case, we're going to check the temperature. When there are two groups, there's a bottom group and there's a top group. The middle sphere is going to be your temperature. So it's going to be 76 in here. If there, if all these spheres would be grouped together, then the bottom one of the top group would be the actual temperature. And let's start with the first sale. MCM Blanco Elephant Bookends Clear Glass Joel Myers Animal Safari 60s 6.5 inch vintage. Gorgeous looking bookends and they're way better when you can see them and feel them. They're super heavy because they're bookends, you know, they're supposed to be heavy so they don't tip over. The only thing that they had wrong with them was that one of the eyes was kind of chipped a little bit. It didn't matter. They still sold within a couple of days. I bought them for $3.50 each, sold them for $49.99 plus $14.99 shipping. After fees and everything, I made $46.41. That is an excellent return and it was super fast. And a little bit about the company. The Blanco company has been making glass for a long time. Around the 50s and 60s is when they started making glass like the ones that you see on screen, the elephants. They make them in a ton of different colors. The clear ones are always going to be the ones that give you the least amount of money. If you see the green ones, orange ones, blue ones in the same like the elephants, they will make way more money. Blanco is highly collectible and it's a thing. And if you don't believe me, go online and check. You'll see all of the prices. As you can see, I got 50 bucks for these and they sold within a couple of days, even with the ding on the eye. And here goes the first comment of the day. At Big John Tech Reviews 4807 says, Fantastic video, bro. Major props to you and happy 4th of July. Peace. Oh, and ask Bruce next time to remove his hat during the national anthem. LOL. First of all, I did my part and sorry, Bruce forgot. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen it, I did a 4th of July special video. I'm going to link it below. It's awesome and I'm going to be referencing it a couple of times in this video because I talk about the very touchy subject of is reselling from thrift stores and places of the sort morally wrong? And to Big John, thank you very much for becoming a member of the Resolutions Posse. Welcome, brother. If you guys want to join in the fun, you can become a paid subscriber, join the Posse, and get perks like member shoutouts, an eBay store discount, advanced video viewing, and many more depending on your level. And here we have MCM Curac of Monterey Rocks Whiskey Glasses 24K Gold Trim Owl Moon Set of 4. I actually bought 14 of these. I just sold 4 and I have 10 left. Well, maybe six left because I think I'm going to keep four for my bar. Great, great looking glassware. And it's actual 24K inlaid in there. I bought them for $5.35 each. Sold them for $50, $14.99 shipping after fees and everything. I brought home $45.95. That means I more than doubled my money and I still have way more to sell. 
and a little bit about the company. The company started in 1948 in Monterey, California, and they specialized in making very unique designs with inlays like abalone, mother of pearl, and as you can see, 24K. Mostly they started putting them into acrylic designs like trays and things of the sort, but then they started making glass and these are inlaid with gold. Beautiful, beautiful glasses. And I've actually sold Kurok before and I put it up in one of my other videos. If you wanna see it, I'm gonna link it below. Anytime I see Kurok, I pick it up. And one of their best sellers is actually not the Owl, it's the Roadrunner. Whenever you see the Roadrunner, pick it up, it's a bolo. On to the next question, at Xander Broful asks, great advice, something I've debated on titles is whether or not it needs to have keywords that people read. For example, when selling electronics, I include things like tested words or if it's been cleaned, I will include that. What do you think, useful or waste of space? He is referencing a video that I made about using titles and how to properly make a title. As far as using those words, okay, is it a waste of space? Technically, yes, because the AI, the algorithm, doesn't care about words like that. Generally though, is it a waste of space? No, because people, sometimes they don't read the descriptions, but if they read it in the title and it says works or tested, they're more likely to say, okay, let me see what else he put and they'll go down to the description and they'll read it from there. If you have the space, include it. If you don't have the space, include keywords instead that will get you the sale. Here we have a vintage MCM Chinese blue white porcelain box with moth beetle design. This is a very small trinket box. It's only 4.5 by three inches, so it's tiny, but it did sell for good money because that blue color is gorgeous. Also the moth or blue beetle design that it has on the top, that's what people are looking for. And also because it's from the 40s. That's a great era to pick up anything uh, made in China, Japan, or the USA. I got this for five bucks, sold it for $35, $9.99 shipping. After fees and everything, I brought it home $32.31. That is an excellent pickup for something that's this tiny. It doesn't take you long to ship and you just wrap it with a little bubble wrap and it's easy to ship out. Next question, actually this is a twofer because she had really good questions. At Jennifer Whitehead 9595, just bought a few of your Amazon items. If your shoes are new and boxed, do you use the box as the shoe riser or leave the box out of the pictures? Excellent question. Next one, when Goodwill marks the bottom of the shoe with marker, do you clean it off or sell it as is? Both excellent questions. Let me answer the marker because it's the easiest one. When there's a marker, like it says $10 or 15 or whatever, I don't go through and I don't mark it off and I don't brush it off, I don't do any of that shit. I just black it out with another black marker until you can't see it, that's it. People know and people understand and they don't care because it's at the bottom of the shoe, so who cares? Second question, if you have a box for the shoes and you wanna use it in the pictures, no problem, but I would only use it on the first one and the last one. The first one being you would raise the box so as to put the brand up higher. Normally it has it at the top of the box, so you can put it up higher so it can say Nike or I don't know, whatever brand name, right? And then the other picture of the shoes is still gonna be exactly the same. The last picture, you're gonna put the shoes in the box so they can see that it belongs to those shoes. It's not just some random box that you picked up. That's it. Next sale, here we have Wade Miniatures Leprechauns Ireland Porcelain Cobbler Taylor Sprite Blue and Yellow. These are super nice. I actually sold a bunch of Wade figures, which you'll see right now, but these I got for a dollar each. I actually, I think I paid a dollar for both of them. Sold them for $21.24, $5.99 shipping. After fees and everything, I made $19.55. And actually, let me go to the next one. Look at these now. Vintage Wade, England Whimsy, on Y Village Stores, Chemist House, Cottage Figurine. I used the riser for these to give it depth and so you can see all of the houses. They look super nice. I got them for a dollar again. Sold them for $19.99, $5.99 shipping. After fees and everything, I brought home $16.32. The Wade figures are like tiny. They're like this big. So they're super easy to ship and I had a desk full of them. Whenever you see Wade, pick them up. They're not all gonna bring you a ton of money, but most of the Wade figures are still collectibles. Figurines, I know they're a thing of the past, I get it, but the Wade ones still sell. I've sold Lady of the Tramp, I sold these, and I sold a few other ones. And let me give you a reason why. The Wade Company, or the Wade Pottery, was actually called Henry Hallen Pottery, and it dates back to the early 1800s. Around the 1860s, or let's just call it late 1800s, George Wade and Son took over and then they started making a new type of pottery. In the 1950s is when these ones came out. They're called Whimsies. They're super cool, super cute, and they're highly, highly collectible. Next question, at Pat Allen 3287 I'm in San Antonio, nice to see a YouTuber 
and reseller in my hometown. Thank you for explaining that we are a constitutional republic. Tired of people saying that we are a democracy. Love the Texas flag shirt. Why don't people go after Goodwill who have marked things up ridiculously high that they get for free? He is referencing the 4th of July video. In that video, I make a cogent argument about why I think reselling from thrift stores and places of the sort is not morally wrong. We are doing so much good by doing that. But there's always idiots online that say they're bullshit because they watch one of my shorts and they get to say whatever and then they take off. If you want to see what I'm talking about, check out the video for yourself and let me know what you think. And on the same note, at TonyP2788 says, I know I resell a lot of necessity. I am recently not able to do the type of work I had done for 17 years. If it wasn't for the income I made from resale, me and my wife and kids would be out on the street. So even if it's morally wrong, necessity makes it worth the income. Great video, new to the channel, new sub. Awesome. First off, I have to say this. As a man that has kids and a wife, your family comes first always. No matter what, no matter who says what. A real man will always take care of his family first. Whoever says anything about that and tries to make you feel bad, fuck him. From one man to the next, great job, buddy. Here we have vintage Chinese wood base, hand carved dark brown figurines, Buddha 1930s era, 15 inch World War II. This is technically not a breakable. I mean, it is because it can break. It actually has a broken piece on the side, but I included this because this was super cool. On the bottom of this wood, this piece of wood, it said World War II. And then it had a date and two names. I think it was maybe like a gift that they got at their, uh, at their wedding or at their reunion or at their something. It was awesome and I got it for nothing. It sold within one day, which makes me think I probably marked it down too much. Even broken, it sold in one day. I got it for five bucks, sold it for $29.59, $12.99 shipping. After fees and everything, I made $30.10. Things like that that are dated back to World War II, World War I, Big, big events in history tend to do well because people remember it's just a thing that hits you hard. It hits you home. Pick them up whenever you can and see if they actually make money. Just check your comps. Next comment at Steve's 1390 says, I noticed a lot of my offers are the cost of shipping removed. So if my shipping is five, they ask $5 less in the offer. I get it, bro. For sure, I get it. However, that's not going to be the case. I've done calculated shipping. I've done flat shipping and I've done free shipping. And when it's free, they're still going to want a discount. So it doesn't matter. Don't feel like they're just trying to get away with not paying you for shipping. I don't think they're doing it because of the shipping. They're doing it because a customer essentially at the end of the day, when they put something in the cart, they see a total. So whatever the total is, they said, well, I'm willing to pay X amount. And that's all they're willing to pay. It's not the shipping. Next sale, Limoges France Trinket Box Nature Ducks. Philippe, I don't know how to say that, hand painted 3.5 inch. This is super cute. Look at those ducks. Amazing. Got it for 50 cents at a garage sale. I remember this specifically. And I sold it for $18.94, $5.99 shipping. After fees and everything, I made $16.44. Great pickup. This, this thing was like this big. It took me two seconds to ship and it sold pretty fast. And a little bit about Limoges. Limoges is a type of hard paste porcelain that originated in the 18th century. Long time ago in Limoges, France. And they're known for their beauty, craftsmanship, and durability. Next question. Add promo Andrew 6331. Thank you for showing about the title listing I asked you about. How do I get more views without using any promoted listings? Andrew's talking about one of the videos that I just shot that I show you how to maximize your listing titles. Well, let me answer this question very easily. There is no other way to get views other than get better pictures so that somebody wants to click on your listing. Optimize the titles like I showed you and that's it. But my recommendation is the third one. Use the fucking promoted listings. I understand that it costs you money. I get it. But it works. And eBay is telling us that they have a big push on promoted listings. If you don't promote, you're going to be behind us all the time. And next sale. Vintage MCM Amber Compo Leaded Crystal Glass Rectangular Square 24% Made in Germany. That's gorgeous. Look at that beautiful color. I love this thing. And what makes a compote a compote is that it is a serving dish. It's just like a typical general serving dish, but usually it's footed. So at the bottom it has, you know, it looks like it's raised, so it's footed. And sometimes they're lidded, sometimes they're not. In this case, this wasn't lidded. And look at the keywords. It says rectangle square. 
I didn't just put rectangle and I know it's not a square, but square sometimes people look for it because if things are squared, that means that they have hard edges. So that way, if they're looking for something rectangular or squared, I'm gonna still get the customer to look at mine. Ooh, something sold. What is that? Wilson Driver Golf Club, awesome. I have a video coming up on Wednesday on how to ship these. Check it out. And this one didn't make me that much money. I paid 30 bucks and I paid 30 bucks because it was gorgeous, beautiful. I actually wanted to keep this, I don't know why I didn't. Sold it for $59.45, $19.99 shipping. After fees and everything, I made $45.71. And look at that, if you notice, there's a refund of $12.73. When you're selling glass, when you're selling collectibles, when you're selling anything that people are gonna get really picky about, make sure that you disclose everything. This person contacted me and said, tiny little chips or something that you can barely see. You would have to put it up to the light and look at it like that. But I didn't wanna return and I'm like, you know what, whatever. Who knows, maybe they were trying to scam me. Whatever the case, I said, you know what, you wanna keep it, I'll give you 25% off. So I gave them $12.73 back, they kept it, and I still made $15.71, so I still win. Next question, at CFED066, I have those same shelves and I'm trying to figure out the best width in purchasing those boxes. I thought I needed the 10 inch width to fit jeans and bulky sweaters in as opposed to the eight inch width. So do you have no problems fitting jeans in there or do you really smush them in? Thank you for the informative vids. You're one of my faves. Well, thank you very much for that. And no, you don't need the 10 inch. The eight inch, they're not gonna be fitted to where like, ah, you're, you're, they're bulging out and you're just kind of forcing them in there. No, they fit perfectly fine the way that I fold them. And if you guys wanna know the video, all the videos that I mentioned here, so I can stop saying this, all the videos are always gonna be linked below. Next sale, crystal cut glass, leaded bowl, clear candy dish, pull and block, square plaid, 4.5 inch. Tiny little bowl. These things are used for candy. I've seen toothpicks. I've seen potpourri, which is kind of stupid because it's too small. Like, what are you going to really smell? Unless you have it like right here, <laughs> smelling the potpourri. But hey, use it for whatever you want. I got it for two bucks, sold it for $17.97, $14.99 shipping. After fees and everything, I brought it home $21.47. And this sold in two months. And let me tell you how I know it sold in two months without having a date on it. If you notice, the price is $17.97. I have a video where I explain how this happens. The price started in 1999. Every month I lower it by $1.01 and then it keeps going down until it sells. Since it sold for $17.97, that means that I lowered it from $19.99, $18.98, $17.97. So it was up for two months before it sold. It's a great and easy, easy way for you to track your inventory so you don't say, oh shit man, uh, when, I, when did I buy this? Last year in July, I don't remember. Let me go look through my Excel sheet. Let me go look through my receipts. Let me go do all this kind of shit for nothing to waste time. If you use my method, it's a lot faster and a lot easier. And if you don't want to mark down your product, no problem. Don't mark it down $1, just mark it down one penny. You're okay with one penny, right? It'll save you a lot of time. Every month, mark it down one penny and you're able to track it easily. Now, when you go to your active listings, you're gonna look and you're gonna say, oh shit, look at that. I can easily see all of my listings because the last number will show you how many months it's been in your store. Last comment, at Moose Lake, <laughs> this is a good one. 3636 MF here. I'm not tall, y'all just short. <laughs> my wife always wants 36 length jeans like Area 29 XL for riding as well as to keep from hiking up. Love the content, keep it coming. I made a video that I said, you know, that was a big mofo that bought this one. And I guess, you know, you're probably over six feet, bro. Well, I'm not six feet, I'm 5'8". And it sucks because if I was six feet or over, I'd be dunking on everybody. <laughs> but because I'm 5'8", the only thing I dunk is galletas marias into my coffee. <laughs> only the Mexicans will probably get that one unless, you know, you like Mexican food. <laughs> and the last sale of the day, Le Creuset Star Ramekins. Cerise Red White Marseille Blue six ounce set of three USA. These are definitely USA product. Red, white, and blue, baby. These are French. Le Creuset always sells. I have not, not sold anything with Le Creuset. In fact, I have a store near me. And when things go on clearance, damn it, bro, I'm there. It always sells and it sells fast because this stuff lasts so long. I had a pan for like four and a half years that was all beat to shit and I was still able to sell it because I wanted new pants. 
but I was able to sell it to somebody else. Great, great merchandise, always pick it up. And if you look at the title, look at what that says, Cerise, and then it says Marseille. Those are official Le Creuset colors. Cerise just means, I think it's cherry in, uh, in French for red, and then Marseille is blue in French. And if I'm not saying it right or if that's totally wrong, tell me in the comments below because I'm not French and I don't speak French and I don't want to speak French. I speak Spanish and English and ghetto. That's what I speak. <laughs> These happen to be mine, so that's why they have a zero on there. I sold them for $59.49, $12.99 shipping. After fees and everything, I brought home $51.07. And if you notice, on the first one I put there, I put them up on $6.20. These people bought them real quick after that. And why? Because they are USA colors. So they probably bought them for 4th of July. Always be cognizant of colors, of themes, of pictures, of things that go with a certain season or a certain time. When there is something that is coming up in season, put it up one or two months before so that people can start looking at it so that they can buy it for the season. And that is it, everybody. Those were the top nine items that sold in the category of breakables. To continue to support the channel, you can always buy a t-shirt, a hat, or a logo sticker in the store below. Or you can be like Big John and Miss Elizabeth and become a member of the Resolutions Posse for less than what it costs you to buy coffee at the gas station. And as always, give this video a like, share this with anybody that needs to see it, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already so you don't miss awesome videos like this where Resolutions gives you real solutions. See you in the next one. Peace! And as always, cheers. This is tea that I'm going to drink like a pretentious douche. And before we start the video, I'm going to show you this. This is a Galileo thermometer. Oh shit, that looks nasty. God damn it. What the f And they're known, and they're known for, hey, yeah. What is that? Yeah, it's nothing, it's just thunder. It's nothing, mama, it's okay. It's just a little water, it's just a little hurricane. And Amazon ruining my shit.